Hey there, so I just got in the door, uh, my first day back to work, and I came home to actually two packages, which I'm going to open now. One is from Barnes & Noble, and I'm pretty sure I know what that one is. And one is from uh, a good friend of mine and frequent commenter, James. So uh, I do not know what this is, so I'm kind of excited. And uh, in a second, we're going to be back and we're going to dive right in. Hey there, so I'm back, and I'm going to save the best for last. I'm going to open up Barnes & Noble first. Because I'm pretty sure I know what this kind of a cheese fest of a movie is. Now, I, uh, the company that I started collecting some of stuff recently, uh, I got a couple of releases. Actually, I have one that's going out to uh, a friend of mine, actually, to James himself. Actually, he's gone out, and it's, uh... And what I got here today is Deadly Prey. It is a cheese fest of a film. Uh, are there features? Yeah, there are photo gallery, dubbed prey, deadly prey trailer, an interview with makeup effects artist Jack Ho Hojan. So, this is kind of a cheese fest of a film. Uh, the actor in this was also in the movie Killer Workout, and uh, but this he gets to get his ramble on. So, uh, uh, the uh, deadly prey was not. Uh, those those were the two ones that I grabbed. They got like uh, a couple others. Slash video. So do like a overview of that company because they've been pretty good since they went with the. Uh, they were good anyway before, but I guess they've got more acknowledgement since they've been with the all of video, which is a shame because all of has been really slow at getting their stuff out, and uh, that's been like a a bit of an issue. Uh, their uh, releases were come out were going to be released at a certain time, and uh, what happened afterwards. Is that they, instead of getting released when you uh, when they were expected to be released, they'd, there'd be like a note of like saying, "Okay, this is not it's not going to be released now. It's going to release like in a month or two. Uh, I know I waited like a long, much longer time for the uh, for the movies that I got come from ones like uh, Shot from Dead and stuff and Killer Workout than I uh, normally would have because I pre-ordered them and uh, they were supposed to come for uh, Halloween. They're supposed to be part of my whole Halloween like. Uh, uh, like review and uh, the 31 days of Halloween or unfortunately I could uh, not get them done at that, uh, that time because they didn't come out then. A lot of stuff. Actually I had a whole thing I spoke about this on the channel before uh, mentioned for the whole Halloween uh, horror thing and then everything that I uh, that I had set up uh, came after Halloween. It was, uh, it was hilarious actually. I was like going to do like a yellow thing and I like the uh, dead and deep red was going to be like part of it. Obviously we all know now that's coming in January 25th. Uh, Hellraiser was going to be a, a major part of the Hellraiser set. I received that one in uh, basically a few days after Halloween. And uh, okay. Let's, let's look. So there's a card here. which so I always go to the card first. All of these nuts. All of these things. They're kind of like peanut earrings. So, an incoming holiday message for you. This is cool. <laughs> okay, I mean, I just came from seeing like Star Wars recently. Instructed to have a galactically married time. Is that not awesome? And and approval from him. That that's automatically amazing. And there's oh. What is he packaged this well? So. <clears throat> so let's just see exactly what's in this. I think I know what one of them is because he mentioned it. And I was kind of intrigued. I'm not sure if I've seen it. Uh oh. just give him one here. Okay. So there is the Queen of Blood. And this one, I do, I'm trying to know if I've seen it. Chris Alexander. Would that be Chris Alexander Fangoria? Uh, then my innervation. So I don't have any of the, this company's titles, which has got me very excited because I'm always excited when I find a new company. It is Chris Alexander from uh, from Fangoria. Basically, this is his feature debut. Writer, director, composer, Chris Alexander. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, they've got uh, Gore Gaffs directing Ogre. 
Nivek Ogre, an introduction, two alternate endings, trailer, commentary with director and cast, Q&A, uh, from the Toronto premiere. So that's going to be interesting. It's a 77 minute one. Long one. I don't like films that are, I consider like the 77 to 90 minute range to be like the sweet spot when it comes to, uh, to horror films. So I'm actually really excited to check this one out. So thank you so much for this. It is my first revision title. So, yes. <clears throat> ah. And following a, a recent trend is an actual one that I'm actually very excited to see. I'm a huge Charles Bronson fan. <clears throat> and uh, if you watch my, uh, my videos, then that's uh, Charles Bronson's uh, stuff has been a big deal when I was growing up. He's one of the actors I grew up with. Kind of like, you know, you grew up with like Chuck, Chuck Norris. And I guess older, like younger people grew up with like people like Seagal. Char I grew up with Bronson. And uh, Bronson and Chuck and all those guys. And uh, this is Twilight Times, The Mechanic, with uh, Charles Bronson. So I'm actually very excited to watch this one. It's been a long time since I've seen The Mechanic. This is one that I'll watch with, with her, because we watched the uh, 10 to Midnight together. So this is definitely an us type of movie. Uh, as, the, as the isolated score, we got another commentary on here as well, so that should be really cool to check out. Who's in this one? Jamma Kamenson, right? Yeah, Jamma Kamenson. Oh, okay, this is an awesome movie. If you haven't seen The Mechanic, I really do recommend it. It's an amazing film. It is an amazing film. Thank you. I am seriously thank you. I did not expect that. And uh, well, I love the cover <clears throat> for this one here. So we've got another Twilight Time edition, which is their whole uh, limited to 3,000. And, ah, this is one I was going to out. It's a Criterion film that I really uh, did enjoy. And, uh, I was going to get this in the Criterion sale, <clears throat> but uh, I wanted to, uh, I'd gotten like a, a bunch of stuff at that time, and I wanted to grab something for uh, for my better half. So we had like a bunch on the list, and we could only pick one at the time. And she was like, you know, well, what do you want to get? And so I kind of probed around to see what she wanted to get, then I pretended that's the one that I wanted to get. And so we went with F is for fake, uh, which I do want to see, but uh, I knew she really wanted it. And the one that I really wanted, the number one on my list, is in my hands right now. So I am super excited about this. And it is Mulholland Drive. Uh, I'm a big David Lynch fan. Uh, James knows me extremely well. I'm a huge fan of Lynch. And uh, Mulholland Drive is one that I've been wanting to uh, own. I uh, remember back in the day when I first saw this one. This was such such a trippy film. Uh, such beautiful imagery. Lynch is always amazing. Amazing with the imagery in his films. And the girls are cute too, so that always helps. But, uh, wow. This is way more than I expected. And uh, thank you so much. I honestly don't know what to say. The guy that can't stop talking for like 45 minute videos and hour and a half long videos is speechless. Uh, James, uh, uh, your present is on the way, uh, for one. But uh, thank you so much for this. And uh, really, really, really appreciate this and the fact that you uh, always, you know, you always comment. I get to talk to you on Facebook as well. And that's always been like a uh, kind of a big thing for me. So I am, wow, I do not know which one to look at first. I uh, I think that uh, Daily's Prey is probably going to be a Matthew thing because we're probably going to do like a, a review of that one. This one is definitely one for me and my, uh, me and my better half over there. Uh, this one's probably going to be for me and I'll probably try and convince her to watch it because... I'll say James told her too. <laughs> and uh Mulholland Drive. Which is really these are all really cool. Uh well I just had like a really crappy work day. And uh but this is incredible. And uh one more time, because this is cool. I really like this. Yeah, I'm a huge kid. Love Star Wars. And the movie, recent movie makes me love it even more. So everybody, thank you so much. I just got in the door. I'm gonna go. Oh wait, there's a letter. Did not see this. Uh -huh. I always keep the letters just in case they're one. So let's, see, let's read this one. Oh, I just want to see your packs for Christmas. One of the items in here is from my collection that I no longer want. Hopefully that's okay. That's more than okay. That's the Mahal Drive. I'm a huge fan. I like the movie. I just can't see myself watching it again anytime soon. Uh, I appreciate that. I would rather pass it along to someone instead of selling it. I can't remember if you do or, or not, but hopefully you like Dave Lynch films. Yeah, yeah huge fan. Uh, so for not earning a 1,000 subscriber contest, yeah, that was kind of like a, at a time when everybody was busy and crazy. So uh, 
that's understandable. A lot of people didn't get to enter the contest at the time. And I know some contests went and you had like three or four or five or six people. So I was, I was surprised that I actually got as many as I did. I know it was open to anyone, but since I didn't make videos, I didn't feel right entering. Now, that's, a, that's the thing. Uh, maybe one day I'll get past the awkwardness of being in front of a camera and start making them. I have that awkwardness every time I turn on the camera, so, so don't worry about that. Uh, I hope you and your family are having a good holiday season. Merry Christmas, all of you. Doing smoky. Ah. Uh, and keep making the great videos. Thank you. Uh, I won out of, from making videos for a little bit because, uh, as you know, stuff is going on. But uh, I started to make them again. I started to feel more refreshed and I'm hoping to take that into the new year and to like uh get on like a new kind of strong positive attitude and like really go into uh bringing back some of the stuff that I, w I wanted to do when I, when I started making this channel which was to make sure that the passion that I have for these films and this collecting shows through in these videos and hopefully inspires other people to collect or to make videos or to, or, or to do comments or whatever they want to do as long as it's something that makes them feel good about uh, what they do. Uh, if you want to make videos, that is a fan that's fantastic. I wholeheartedly encourage that. If you want to continue commenting, I wholeheartedly encourage that as well. You have to do what makes you feel best for you. Uh, for me, I'm a big ham. And uh, when I came on here, I didn't expect to be on here very long. Uh, I expected maybe my mom and my kids would probably be... Uh, the people that saw my videos and that would be about it and I'd like put them across on some of my Facebook sometimes to uh so my dad could see them. but um uh, it kind of steamrolled into what it is right now and I enjoy it and I think it's really fun but never do it if you don't think you're going to enjoy it always do it because it's something that you feel good about that you feel passionate about and that you want to share there's so many ways on here that uh, people share I have people that come on here and started commenting and the, uh, they've made channels, and like it's been fantastic. Uh, find your inner voice, whatever that is, and uh, go with that. That's my uh, that's my advice. That's my sage wisdom for today, for being like the old guy on here that's been doing this for a few years, and uh, and loving it because uh, the people and the community is what keep it draws me into this here. Uh, anybody can talk on here for whatever and just talk about what they like, but uh. To have true passion for something, and to uh, and to go beyond that, to actually interact with uh, with other people out here that have like similar passion as you, that uh, it's just incredible. And that's what uh, that's my gushiness for today. There, so thank you for watching. At 12 minutes, it's actually one of my short videos recently. Have a great day. For me, it is time for tea, and I'm gonna take out my collector's cap because it's driving me crazy. So my hair's getting all sweaty. But for now. Thank you again, James. This means a lot to me. It really does. And for everybody out there, for now, I'm, uh, I'm out of here. I hope you guys are having a great Monday.